Hey, what's up all? Wyatt Hurts back with some more home front action from the On Live Game Service and seeing how this is a Friday. Well, that can only mean one thing, and if you don't know what it means, well, you should. You should get informed. It means it's a Featured Friday. Featured Friday's match, uh, another spotlight match where I pick somebody from uh, within the... Uh, with uh, in the home front community on the on live service and to get them in their own matchup here on the channel, you know. Uh, so let's uh, let's see who it is this week. Nightmare three four five six. Welcome to the spotlight, sir. Looking at what he's playing, it's Borderlands. It's Team Deathmatch and Battle Commander, and uh, the kit. We will get to the kit probably at the end of the game because this actually is a pretty good match that I'd like to call. Um, but uh, what what he's using right now is the exact same thing he's recommending to you guys. So what you see with this will be his signature kit in the end. Uh, now coming in here, let's get right into the action. You see a quick knife there on News Channel. Obviously Nightmare, not a big fan of the news. Not a big fan of the news. And puts it down, turns it off right away, you know. Uh, keeps moving, keeps pushing forward, wisely kind of posts up there at the door for a couple seconds. Wait and see if anything's coming his way. And then cutting through the garage, you know. Moving up here, he does encounter Onyx PC Gamer and puts a lot of fire right at the ground by his feet there. It was like Nightmare looked at him and said, dance fool, dance. And just uh, put a bunch of spray at his ankles. Apparently, however... Uh, Onyx, too lazy to dance, or just lacking any sort of rhythm, opted to die instead. So, Nightmare pushing forward, continuing to move up, uh, sticking Eric Rico, shanking him as he rounds the corner for a quick kill, and again, just continues to move forward, you know, on a nice little assault charge, uh, you know, not encountering too much opposition, and when he is, he's making pretty quick work of it here, right? Now, he's about knee-deep in enemy territory as he climbs up this, uh, this roof, this ladder to the rooftop above Hooters. Looking to clean out any opposition that's up here, but you can see the one enemy that was up there got put down not too long ago. Uh, he scopes out the area, gets a good vantage point up there, doesn't really see anything, so can jumps off and continues to push the assault uh, right into the enemy spawn now. He takes out Marco, probably took a little more damage than he would have liked there, but he did hold his man despite, you know, uh, having his... Uh, Having that hurt pounding action pump up, he did hold his man in his sights and, and finished him off. Now right here, a little grenade exchange, almost, almost enough to blow off a limb, but uh, he does manage to survive it, and then stepping back around the dumpster, runs into Witch Doctor, the voodoo man, looking to run, run into some cover, but uh, Nightmare, too quick for him, he does pick him off before he can get there, right? Uh, so nice grenade over the bush, just to push anybody back that might be coming out of that alleyway. And then a great little knife, uh, helping out his teammate, maybe even saving his life, but it does cost Nightmare his own as he turns back around uh, to face too many guns staring him down, you know. Too many guns firing his way, and he gets put down. Witch Doctor coming back to life as well, looking for some revenge. But Nightmare back in here with a tank. He is uh, set up, he does have this set up with coded and faster reload, which is a pretty solid you know, I mean, it's a pretty good setup. I use that occasionally for the for the scout when I'm trying when people are trying to EMP me up there. Uh, so I can't see why it would be why it would be bad. You know, why it could possibly be bad for a, for a tank on the ground. And you can see, I mean, it is coming into play. He is getting EMP here early on. Uh, he does go on a nice little run in the tank. Oh, well, there's something I really hate about the way he drives this thing. He, and I told him this in a comment or in a message shortly after we were done getting this round right. Uh, just, <laughs> he's always zoomed in. Do you notice this? I hate that. I, and I actually think it makes you, it makes driving it more difficult, you know. Uh, so I would say, man, zoom out a little bit more. Only zoom in when you're trying to line, get the, you know, when you spot the target and you're looking to line them up. Like, back there would have been ideal, but you should have zoomed out as you, as you pivoted around. But anyway, we'll move beyond that. He, he does start taking some damage. Despite just bringing the repairs, he's already back into the yellow. And he does go on a 9-1 tear in the tank. Previous Prior to that, he started things off on foot with a 7-1 tear. Uh, so some good runs, you know. You did hear that distinctive whistle of an RPG coming in there. And there was enough damage on the back end of his tank that it, that was enough to take him from the yellow to the red to the black abyss of death. And now here he comes back in, and in a new tank. And really, you know, despite having a great run in the first one, he really does get stopped short here. And in fact, gets stalled out altogether for the rest of the round. What you've seen from him so far is all all he's going to be able to give. You know, and, and a lot of it's bad luck. There's one bad decision in the middle of it all. But anyway, there is an enemy air, uh, you know, airstrike drone circling the skies. It is the Voodoo Man's, and he puts a curse, a cluster bomb curse on uh, on <laughs> Nightmare's tank there. He scraps it really quickly, wipes it off the face of the earth. You know, makes quick work of it, and a nightmare eager to get into battle, maybe a little infuriated about how that just went down, comes comes back in, kind of foolishly right here in, in the hum, in the Humvee, uh, you know, bogweed 
facing facing bogweed at the end of the road. Uh, when you see bogweed in an LAV, be afraid. Be very afraid. It's his vehicle of choice, you know. And unless you have something that can do some damage, you know, d punch some damage into that thing quickly, uh, you're probably not not going to survive very long, right? So. I don't know. wasn't a great choice uh, that he made in the Humvee. He probably should have bailed out of it as soon as he started to take a little bit of damage there. But, um, you know, uh, you live and you learn, right? Uh, of course, at the end there with that encounter with Hurricane, uh, you could see that Nightmare had been charging forward to get a C4 on the Humvee. And it was just bad luck that uh, Hurricane, being the wily bugger that he is, hopped out of there and, and got the knife in, got the jump on, uh, on Nightmare at that corner pillar. Uh, so he a great round, despite being stalled out. You know, the team did win. It was a dominating victory, despite these evenly matched teams. It was 10,000 to 5,000, and Nightmare playing an instrumental role in, in the victory there and leading his team. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great players behind him in that list, so despite not being the biggest, biggest numbers, and despite the fact that it probably could have been a bit better had that second tank not been taken out by the Witch Doctor, uh, he, I mean, you, you could have easily had a 22-2. and two. He was 16-2 and two when the second tank rolled in, so, you know, it could have been a 22-2 and two round. It ends up being a 16-5, and five, but it's still enough to lead the room here. Well, as far as I can tell, I'm not sure what Bogweed had, but uh, I, I would imagine Bogweed was somewhere around those numbers. Um, we should. What I really want to do is get to the kit here. I know this is going to drag on a little bit. Hopefully, you guys will stick around for the danger rating at the end. But I do, like I said, I want to get through guys' signature kit, especially when they give me a full full rundown here and reasons why. So, like I said, it was exactly what he was using. ACR, ACOG Scope, and Swamp Camel even recommended the Swamp Camel. And you know what? I can't argue with that. Swamp Camel, one of the one of the coolest, uh, one of the best camels in the game, in my opinion. Uh, so, he does have steady aim in there. Now, coupled with the ACOG Scope, obviously, gives you good, better clarity at those longer ranges, better stability at those longer ranges, and really rounds out the ACR nicely because the ACR already fires well from the hip without straight from the hip in there. So, it's be, with the steady aim in the ACOG, makes it kind of that all-purpose weapon uh he has attack reload in there he he has that in there because you know when you're when you're pushing the charge like he was when you run into multiple enemies being able to pop out a clip and pop a new one in uh can certainly uh increase your odds of survival against clusters of them you know uh so again i can't argue with that uh, now that's a knife is the last one and obviously again you know i can't argue with that you know when you have somebody charging at you being able to go to the blade confidently you know and feeling like you're going to be able to put the guy down uh, will not hurt you in the, in the end. Now he has RPGs in his purchase slots for tanks and LAVs and armors in general. Uh, that's kind of no one. Most guys know that. Cluster bombs is all, are also in there. Now, that's basically for cul-de-sac, for being able to take out a tank in one foul swoop like Witch Doctor did to him that round, and just a, another option if he doesn't feel like going to a vehicle that game. Uh, the C4 for Humvees. And uh, C4, great for taking out people on rooftops. Uh, you know, the ledge crawlers and the guys that are camping up there on the rooftops. So and uh, so he knows what he's doing with his C4. And I think that's about it for the, for the kit. Yeah, that is about it for the kit. Uh, so so that's it. Let's run down some numbers now. Nightmare, as I said before, 16 and 5 leading the team. CP11 behind, and some big names in here, guys. Let me look at them. If you play on play home front on, on live, you'll recognize a lot of these guys, and they're they're killers, you know. Uh, CP11, 14 and 3. Avonia Lex, 14 and 3. I'm probably messing that name up. Straight out of the Ukraine, Lex is. Uh, so so I don't know. Hopefully I got it right. Man Block, 12 and 0. Tekken, 10 and 5. San Robert, a trial, 75. 7 and 6. Miha, there, 7 and 6. Going down even further, I mean, just a great performance by his team all around. Uh, Dark Boy 6 and 2, Ninja Henry 5 and 4, and uh, Sergey there, a 3 and 1. On the other side, can't see Bogweed, but I would imagine Bog was right around Nightmare's numbers. Uh, going down one more, uh, Vustik, where you see Lex, you will see Vustik, Vustik, Vustik. Not really sure. I ho I'm hoping I'm I'm not chewing up that, uh, that VF too bad, but uh, 6 and 6. But really not a lot worth mentioning as far as the numbers go over there, but the players, to put it all into perspective, I mean, you have Reaper in there, Witch Doctor, Hurricane, who's like a level one or a trial 150. You know, he, that guy, that's how much that guy's played uh, as with the trial, as a trial user. Uh, you have Blunted Vegas in there, great player, Verbombo, Onyx PC Gamer, and Eric Rico. So, a lot of competition in there, and Nightmare reigned supreme. Now, uh, just kind of wrapping things up now. Let's uh, let's keep moving. Nightmare, thanks for participating, bruh. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope you'll enjoy the danger rating when I get to it here. I hope you guys are still sticking around for this danger rating. Don't be cutting out early just because I'm running down a kit now. And, uh... 
And uh, now, ever and actually, ever since I did Aston Boy's video last week, gave a shout out to his channel, and he's got a good channel. You know, he's got a lot of good content out there. I still recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Uh, and uh, Nightmare, now Nightmare said he was gonna. He sent me a message. Said he was gonna start trying to get some videos up last weekend. Start to uh, upload and heavily. I don't know if he has or not. I don't know if he still plans to in the future, but I will put it in the annotations, your channel in the annotations. I figure that's what I'm going to start doing for these spotlight videos. It's kind of a little bonus for getting up here in the spotlight. So, there that, there that is. Check it. You'll see his, uh, his channel, Little Morrison. Is the channel? Um, it's uh, it's on. Uh, it's it will be in the description. It will be in the uh, spit it out, Wyatt. It'll be in the annotations. And obviously, nightmare. Just leave a message on uh, uh, a comment on this video and uh, and uh, under your YouTube account and. And somebody can click on that if they want to get to your channel, and hopefully you're getting some content up there. So guys, I don't know how much he has up there, but uh, it might be something to keep an eye on, and he might have some good stuff up there in the future. Now, with all that said and done, let's get to the danger rating, and I'm not going to beat around the bush with it. I'm just going to get straight to it. Nightmare, I know what I'm giving you, sir. Uh, Nightmare, 3456 on Elm Street Dangerous. That's what you get. Uh, yeah, I know, a little cheesy, but you know what? It sounds pretty badass. That's a, <laughs> you know, and growing up, uh, I was, uh, I used to love those early Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Uh, so let's get it up on there. Nightmare. It's not Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's Nightmare 3456 on Elm Street Dangerous. There it is. Uh, so Nightmare on Elm Street Dangerous. And uh, if you don't know what Nightmare on Elm Street is, God damn it, Google it, people. That's what it's there for. Um, if you've never heard of Nightmare on Elm Street, have you at least heard of somebody called Freddy Krueger with, uh, you know, four blades on his hand uh, uh, all burned up, killing people in their dreams? Certainly. So it's a pretty badass danger rating and kind of funny at the same time. Anyway, guys, uh, you know what? I hope you enjoyed the vid. And if you did, leave a like and a comment. Not for my sake, again, for Nightmares. And I say this every every featured Friday that I get up here. But uh, that's what you should be doing. Because one event, one of these days, maybe you'll be up in one of these. And I'll be saying the same thing for you. So show a little support for Nightmares Match. Uh, leave a like and a comment. Let them know what you thought. Uh, now, I really need to wrap this up. So, guys, until next time, remember why it hurts. And uh, maybe check out Nightmares Channel. There might be something good up there. If not now, maybe to come. Later all.